Hello, my name is Henry. I'm from CCTV42. In this video, we're going to be looking at setting up motion triggered recording on your DVR recorder. Now, we actually recommend that you record 24 hours a day and use motion triggering as a way of creating bookmarks rather than the sole means of generating footage. Uh, but we'll show you how to set up motion triggering on the DVR. So, the first thing you need to do is open the main menu. So, right click anywhere on the screen and left click on the menu icon. That takes you to the main menu. You want to go to Setup and then left click on Alarm. And you can see here we have an option for motion. So, left click on motion. Now, you can see at the moment we have motion triggered recording set up for camera 5. We're going to put motion triggering on camera 8. So, we left click on the check enable button there and then we go across to setting under the area column if we left click on there you'll see a lot of blue squares at the moment the DVR is looking for movement anywhere on the screen now the problem with that is you'll generate quite a few false alarms you'll pick up trees if they're moving and so on so if we go down here you can see there's a little bin icon if we left click on that that clears the grid from the whole screen if we left click on the star icon here that re-enables it. So we want to clear the whole screen, it's on the grid there, and I want to put motion triggering on a little patch just as uh, people come in the driveway here. So we'll go to the top left of the area where I want to create the motion triggering, hold down the left button on the mouse, and then drag the mouse across to wherever I want to go. Now, a couple of things, I've actually put a few too many squares on here. So if I go to an area with a blue square, left click and hold down the mouse, and then move the cursor along. You can see I can fine tune my area, make it bigger or smaller. I'm actually gonna take this top row off as well. So left click, hold down, drag the mouse across. So I'm happy with that. That's a fairly small area. We shouldn't get too many false alarms. So if we right click on the screen there, and then you'll see this little box appear here. So left click in the save icon, and then we'll click apply. So that's now enabled motion triggered recording for camera 8 and we'll just check that the area has saved properly so click left click on the settings and sure enough that's quite happy so we can exit that. So simple as that. Now what you will notice when you go onto your uh, live screen you'll see you have uh, coloured squares in the top left hand corner of the uh, each camera. Now the blue icon tells me we're using scheduled recording but if the camera detects a motion, that blue icon will turn yellow to say that it's uh, detected motion and uh, so it's stayed that as an event. I hope you found that useful. My name's Henry, we're from CCTV42. Many thanks for watching.